so yeah even the shoes you can see there are almost um sort of joint to it seized on so um yeah they uh really weren't good oh my god look at the state of that well yeah what we've decided to do is the piston is so jammed in we've just pulled the rubber seal off of a pair of pliers and uh, what we're going to do is put some WD around here and uh, in the hole the brake fluid normally does and then we'll try getting out with compressed air tomorrow and hope that WD is soaking and make it easier to get out but again it definitely means we um, diagnosed the fault that we thought it was and uh, it wasn't the handbrake brake shoes either. As long as you only put the grips on that rusty bit. Oh, and that's it uh, out. So what I thought I'd explain, what we did once we put the WD in, uh, we thought we'd see whether it would move and it actually started to lever out as you see and because it was so seized in we didn't even know if the compressed air would definitely work so we decided to slowly lever it out and then as you see pull it out with those sort of uh, nice grip pliers and the um reason we could do that or attempted to do it is because we are changing the piston so it didn't matter if we damaged that piston obviously you wouldn't be doing that if you were only changing the seal kit but we are putting in a, a new piston as well but you can see there all the rust on that piston and uh, just a sort of grotty it was so uh yeah we thought in the end that was the best way to get it out and uh it worked and it also proves that you could do it about the compressed air because the difference with this one is is that the brake fluid goes in on the side and not on the end because sometimes when the um fluid goes on the end you can use something from in there and push it out which you couldn't do this so you're only left with compressed air or getting it out how we did so we decided because it was so rusty we'd give that a go and that lets us know in the future that there are alternatives to blowing it out with compressed air Right, so um, what we've done is wire brush the uh, caliper off and then what we always do is paint it with um, the rust killer. Uh, that gets rid of any sort of rust that's uh, left and we find also becomes almost like an undercoat for the uh, red paint we put on. Uh, what we do next though is probably home out the um, cylinder and fit all the new seal kit and then go on to paint it in red so that we don't mark any of the red paint fitting the uh, new seal kit and uh, cylinder and what I'm going to do this time is uh, follow both sides because we always do both sides um, uh, so we'll show some little bits of this one and some different bits when we're doing the uh, other side so uh, that's where we are at the moment and what we've also done as we uh, always do is wire brush the uh, carrier bracket as well and again we treat that with a rust killer and then go on to uh, to paint it right so uh, we're going to hone the um, caliper out but as you see there we had to remove the uh, old seal first and uh, then we do that uh, with this top because the seal is um, in the caliper and it's the piston that moves up and down the honing is not so crucial as on um, somewhere the seal would be on the piston and it's rubbing up and down that surface uh, but we still like to do it and that's why we also like to get a new piston because it is the piston surface that would be moving up and down on that rubber seal so when we get the kit we do like to get the piston that comes with it as you see there we were honing it out now that's um done we'll uh, be ready to start putting the new seal kit back in and then of course the new piston as well and that gives you uh, a little look inside you see it's now looking nice and uh, clean what we did is use some wd uh, in there while we were doing it <laughs> 